Firestarter is the latest movie from the Stephen King film factory. In goes the hit book. More often than not, out comes the bad movie. And in the case of Firestarter, a very bad movie. The story of a little girl who has pyrokinetic powers, which means that she can start fires just by looking at something or someone. She's sort of a Carrie-like character, flambe. Firestarter <laughs> stars Drew Barrymore as the Firestarter, and in this scene, it's typical of the movie with the sweet-faced little girl from E.T. being forced here to turn on her flame power when she is threatened by government agents who want to use her as a secret weapon. Hi, Andy. Hi, Charlie. Honey, you don't have to run anymore. Go away. Afraid I can't do that, honey. I have my orders. No one wants to hurt you or your daddy. You liar. You're supposed to kill him, and I know it. I'd advise you to do what my daughter says. I mean, you know why she's wanted. Remember the soldier at the airport? You met a trespass. I want you to get the hell off my property. We're government agents, sir. These two folks are wanted for questioning. Nothing more. I don't care if they're wanted for assassinating the president. Show me a warrant to get the hell off my land. We don't need a warrant. You do unless I woke up in Russia this morning. If you'll just get in the car, we can discuss all this. Honest to gosh. There's nothing going on here except... We know what's going on. Please, don't make me do anything! Get out! Don't you understand what she's doing? Can't you feel it? Don't be stupid. If we could only discuss this, Stop please! It. Watch it, Andy! Watch it! This movie may be, it's a terrible film. I think this movie may be making an unintentional political point there. You notice that the chickens got out of the way before the CIA did. You know? okay. Frankly, all we wait for in this movie are the fireball scenes like that, and they turn out to be nothing special. You see the line of fire, the explosion, and if you look closely, you can see that the human target of the little girl's firepower is wearing a special fire suit complete with head covering. It's not well camouflaged stunt work, so even the sadists in the audience, hoping to see somebody fried, they won't even enjoy Firestarter. In the good Stephen King movies, like The Dead Zone, where yeah. you had Christopher Walken, you really sympathize with his character and with the problems of having this strange uh, psychic power. Very good point. In this movie, it's simply a gimmick. Yeah. The girl narrows her eyes, somebody goes up in flames, the government scientists run around like crazy, and then That's we right. repeat it all again. With the additional very unsavory element of the George C. Scott character, yeah. who is apparently a child molester, and then they rewrote all of his dialogue so you don't know quite what he's talking about. Yeah. And he likes to break had, noses, I know. Yeah, he, and he wants to break that little girl's nose, and I could have done without that speech. And indeed, the whole movie just seemed to me like lots of sensational scenes in search of something to be about. And uh, Another example of what you're talking about, of not giving the girl the character, 
uh, go back to Carrie, which is, this film is basically a quickie ripoff of, mm -hmm. uh, the character of Carrie, played by Sissy Spacek, mm -hmm. was worthy of getting an Academy Award nomination, and it, she was a fully realized character, and her wrath made sense. Oh. I love you, Chuck. <laughs> Here, mm -hmm. it's just, you know, freak show because it's a little girl. And I really felt sorry seeing this little Drew Barrymore, who's a cute little girl, saying a lot of mean lines, unhappy lines. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, unsettling film. Just a special effects picture.